Let me tell you a bit more how, the, how we work, how this AI model that we have at Verib uh, works. We have documents that come into our system, like this would be the front and the back of a New York State identification card. And from this, we detect these signals that I'll explain later in some of them more in detail. And then we have a general artific uh, uh, artificial intelligence model that aggregates all this information and using all the Verib knowledge about how a, a legitimate document looks like, we train this model with around 1.5 million documents, so lots of data, and we try to train it frequently. And this allows us to uh, catch the model. Uh, so this is how the, the machine learning model uh, in a big picture works. So it's an aggregator of many fraudulent signals that we find in documents to, to detect the document fraud. I see, I see. Can you give us a bit more sort of background then as to yeah. sort of, uh, why you decided to go with that aggregator model? Because I think, that's, exactly. uh, I think the, the kind of the history of it is probably uh, is going to be quite informative later on. Yeah, we have experienced uh, and tried uh, black box models that just get a document and try to say whether it's fraudulent or not. But what we found is that by having all these signals uh, very well fine-tuned and then aggregated together, the model that is generated after this allows uh, or it's, it's capable of cross-linking and cross matching all the different uh, signals, and that gives a much better performance. In addition to that, by having all these signals separated and we knowing exactly where they come from, so how they are computed, we can then query the model and ask, okay, what was the most important signal for this particular detection of fraud? Was it the background? Was it the shape of the document? What was it that made the model decide that that was fraudulent? And this level, is uh, this level of transparency is important because in the one hand, it allows us to improve the model little by little by knowing which are the features that perform best or worst for the model, mm -hmm. but also it allows us to inform our fraud operation teams of our specialists of what is uh, the fraud uh, that the, the model is finding and trying to find uh, uh, new strategies of monitoring those cases. Love yeah, it. one one of the things I would add also for the benefit of uh, doing all the signals uh, separately is. If we are finding uh, those fraudulent documents, we a lot of the times use our internal operations uh, to validate all of them. And if we can already point out like, hey, we think that document background is wrong or that there is uh, some uh, font problems or date issues, then they already know where to focus on. Otherwise, they might also miss uh, those signals. So we are a lot of the times helping out uh, also the um, our teams so that they know better what's going on. Yeah. So yeah. I, I, it's a very interesting comment what uh, Lizzie just made because it's a very nice collaboration between artificial intelligence and humans or like human teams that are looking at the documents uh, uh, day by day because sometimes they discover something and sometimes the model discovers something that they maybe uh, didn't catch or uh, that uh, slept their eyes, right? So it's a, mm. a very nice way of, of working and it's, it's very fruitful.